Jacksonville. Really? Did you really follow the Falcons' advice? That's the only way that I could see your monumental collapse this season. I guess we have to break down this season, but it was not pretty. The Jacksonville Jaguars ended the 2023 NFL season with a lot of hope, and I mean the hopium was running rampant through Duval County. The Jags made the playoffs and won a playoff game in 2022 against the Chargers, and given the AFC South was perceived as pretty weak, it was considered the Jaguars' division to lose. That being said, how did the season go for the Jaguars? Well, they started the season with a 10-point win over the Colts, but then took two tough losses to the Chiefs and Texans by a combined 28 points. After this reality check of having a negative 10 net points against AFC South teams, the Jags went on to rattle off five straight wins over the Falcons, Bills, Colts, Saints, and Steelers. After this, they got embarrassed by the 49ers by a final score of 34-3. Once they suffered this embarrassment, they went on to beat the Bengals. The big thing to note here in this game, though, was that Trevor Lawrence suffered an injury that would be nagging at the Jags for the rest of the season. After this game, though, however, the Jaguars were sitting pretty at 8-3 and, and on top of the AFC South, and the division did turn out to be theirs to lose. And they lost it. They went on to lose four of their last five. They lost to the Browns, Ravens, Buccaneers, and Titans, which was a win and end game for them. The only win they had in that time was against the Panthers in 26-0 fashion. Overall, this team put together one of the most historic collapses I have ever seen. This team had the division locked up and they blew it in embarrassing fashion. The tough part is, I don't know how to fix this mess. This team, in theory, has weapons aplenty and should be winning games big time on the offense, but they aren't. I think the biggest issue with this team is likely the offensive scheming, but once again, I'm not 100% sold that it's that single issue. The biggest red flag telling me that it could be the offensive play calling is Trevor Lawrence's stats. He had a 65.6 completion percentage, throwing for 4,016 yards and 21 touchdowns to 14 interceptions in 16 games. Lawrence is doing a solid job of protecting the ball, averaging less than one interception per game, but the touchdown numbers are very low considering all of the weapons they have. From Zay Jones to Evan Engram, they should be getting more touchdowns passing-wise. The tough thing about this team is they should be good, but they have been the definition of underperforming. This team needs to fix themselves next season as right now they look like the fallen love child of the Atlanta Falcons and the Pittsburgh Steelers, choking and underperforming at every chance they get.